I'm just in love with computer-generated dreams. I'd like to show you Disk Clock, an application you can find in the Chrome Web Store. It blows up to a full screen application. Now, I made Disk Clock because I've always had trouble reading the analog clocks. And the basic problem is they're trying to communicate information using only the size of the hands. Now, when they're next to each other, you can kind of sort it out. You still have to think about, okay, which one is the big one? Um, if you're tracking the time frequently, you can say, okay, well, I know it's around 6, that must be the hour hand, the minute hand used to be about there, so I'm going to be able to track it around and figure out where we're at. But if I don't have that, can, that recent reference to the clock, I, I get lost pretty easily, actually. And you have to stop and think about, oh, okay, we think... The designers of the clock probably figured you're looking at the minutes more often, so that must be the longer hand that's easier to see. And it's like, you know, can we just have the things all the way around? So I made this clock with moving faces that stretch all the way around the entire face of the clock, so you don't have to worry about uh, losing track of which is which. I've also color-coded them to make it even easier to tell them apart. And put, th and put them in the order from largest time period to smallest. Because I find that I'm looking at the, uh, the, at the approximate position in the hours most often. Now, in addition to having the basic visual cues, it will also respond to hover events. So if, and if you watch the area over at the side here, you can see that it's actually reporting the exact time rep currently represented. Now if your cursor is on the right half of the, of the clock, it will show you the time remaining, which is useful in some cases, for instance, um, time left in the hour or in the 15 minute period. And if we go over on the right, we get the time pass, which we would eventually call the time. You can also hold down control if you're in doubt about what a particular mark is to get the exact time represented by a particular area on the disk. So our outer disk is a total 24 hours going from darkness to dawn, daylight. There's solar noon, which is not at uh, 12, you might notice. We've got twilight and darkness. Next up is the four hour disk, and that's basically here so that we can go from start of one hour to the end of that hour and easily figure out, based on the position of our marker, where we are. So right now I can tell that I'm coming up on the first quarter of the hour, which usually is about all I really need. But there's a full hour down here, and we can once again see that we're, that we're drawing up on the quarter hour here. And then that quarter hour is, is itself a disk. Because that because most things you're gonna do are gonna be aligned with the with the 15 minutes. So that's an entire disk and it also gives us a little bit of sub-minute precision. There's a few settings you can tweak over on the back side, but I'll do a separate video for those. For more information, go to discclock.com. Thank you very much.